In this video, I will be showing how to create minimal live streaming lower thirds. You can use these techniques to add your social media handles, offers, or donation links. If you want to get started quickly without learning the stream design process, our today sponsored own pro has something to offer you. Click the first link in the description box below and access over 600 plus premium stream assets and overlays. Besides that huge amount of stream overlays and packages, you will also get access to epidemic sound. That means your stream music without any copyright strike has been solved. Own pro got everything you need to level up your stream game. The great part is that you will only pay a monthly or yearly fee, and you can use current and every upcoming package without paying them individually. So, if you want to step up your game, click my link below and use the EMSQ code at checkout to get 50% off on the plans. Thank you, Own Pro, for sponsoring this video. Back to the tutorial. Open up Photoshop and create a new composition with 1920 by 1080 dimensions. I will add a dark grayish color as the background to see the design more clearly. Now, select the rectangle tool and draw the base shape. Click the small box icon and select a light blue tone. This is crucial. Please don't choose a solid white color because, in that case, we will not see the upcoming effects. Well, add some rounded corners by increasing these values under properties. Double click the base layer to enable the layer styles. From there, choose inner shadow and follow my settings. This shadow will be our highlights. Keep the settings as mine for the best result. Now, press the plus icon beside the inner shadow to duplicate the inner shadow. From there, make the inner shadow more darker and change the angle to negative 52. This will be the opposite direction of our previous inner shadow. I will be doing some more fine tunes. The rule of thumb will be to make one shadow the brightest and the second one to a darker tone, not the darkest tone. Once done, add a thin stroke. Keep the stroke color to a bright color. Keep the stroke color subtle, not too bold. Drag and drop your icon into the canvas. I am using the PayPal logo here. Press Ctrl plus T to enable the transform tool. Resize your logo. Then double click the icon layer. This time add two drop shadows instead of an inner shadow. It will make the icon look pumped from the base. Add an inner shadow and ensure the blend mode is in the overlay. It will make the icon glossy on the edges. Select the text tool and type your text. I am using two free fonts named Poppins and Gilroy. You can check this video to see my favorite free to use fonts. Make the upper text small and the lower text bigger, to make a visual hierarchy. You can also play with the font weight to make the hierarchy. For the font color, try to use a soft tone of the black color. Don't use complete black, as it will make the design over popped. Double click the last text layer and add a gradient overlay effect. You can choose whatever color you want. At last, add a white color stroke. It's time to add some props to the design. Select the base layer and create a new layer on top of the base layer. 
You can press the plus icon to make a new layer. Right-click the Shape tool and select the Eclipse tool, then draw the two circles for both sides. Now right-click the first circle shape and choose Create Clipping Mask. It will keep the circle to the main design. Make the first shape blue and the second one yellow. Select the circle and go to Filter, and then choose Gaussian Blur. Select Convert to Smart Object. Then add 50% for the blur value. It will make an evenly spread glow into the whole design. Choose Overlay as the Blending Mode. I will make another circle shape in the middle, to add some detail to the design. Because currently, it's looking plain. I will do it in time-lapse, but you can slow down the video if you want. It's time to make the panel all yours. Import your logo and place it above the base layer. Then right, click the layer, and select Clipping Mask. You can add gradient fill or anything else as per your logo needs. Now, hold shift and click the first layer and the last layer. Make sure you have not selected the text layers. Once those layers are selected, press Ctrl plus G to make a group. Then right-click the group and select Convert to Smart Object. Then go to Noise and choose Add Noise. Follow the settings like mine and hit OK once done. To wrap the whole design, create a new layer on top of the base layer and create a clipping mask. Press B to enable the brush tool, then choose a thicker brush size and draw some hand-drawn lines. It will give the whole design a more personal look. It's time to save the lower third overlay. Press C on your keyboard to enable the crop tool. Then only select the lower third design area. Hide all the background layers and then go to File, then go to Export As. From there, make sure you have selected the transparency option, then hit Export. So, that's all of today. I will respond to every comment you write in this video's comment box. Till then, stay safe and keep creating. Peace.